Hello, and welcome to a Calibre How-To Video Guide. In this video, we will take a look at how to reconfigure the new Calibre Interactive GUI while still using a classic Calibre Interactive customization file. Especially for users that have classic customization files that contain custom tickle code and business logic, this is an excellent method to start utilizing the new Calibre Interactive drag and drop GUI configuration capabilities while being able to use any classic customization files that have not yet been migrated over to the JavaScript format. The new Calibre Interactive is backwards compatible with the classic Calibre Interactive tickle customization files out of the box, including those that contain custom tickle code. The classic customization file works well in the new Calibre Interactive. However, if we want to take the customization even further and rearrange default options and inputs, show and hide options and pages, change the default values or lock down various options, we will need a configuration file. Configuration files can be created in the configuration editor by using drag and drop. In order to utilize the new configuration capabilities as well as retain the functionality of the classic tickle-based customization file, the new Calibre Interactive lets you use both classic tickle-based customization files in combination with the configuration file in order to be able to use these classic customization files that have not been migrated over to the new format. We will start by opening the configuration editor from the command line while also specifying your classic customization file by typing caliber-gui-drc or the corresponding caliber flow dash config underscore editor and now we specify the customization file by doing dash custom and your custom file. In this case, we have drc.ci.custom. We can observe that the configuration editor has opened the custom items stored in a page called custom, just like we saw in Calibre Interactive. From here, we can make all of the desired modifications to the UI that we would normally do in configuration editor. In this case, we will make a simplified version of the UI by dragging some basic default inputs and options into our custom page and hiding the rest of the pages. If we click the preview button, we can see our newly created configuration, which contains the new GUI arrangements that we made, as well as the custom items from the classic CI customization file that we have as well as the functionality from the custom tickle code that is contained in that custom file. To save this configuration, we will click Save As and save the configuration file. When launching Calibre Interactive with these files, we need to specify both the customization file and the configuration file that we have created for this setup to work. This can be done by specifying both files through the command line by specifying both of the files through the corresponding environment variables, or by selecting both files through the configurations menu and clicking load, and selecting both the customization and configuration file, and saving this setting into a run set file. Thank you for watching this how-to video guide. I hope you found this helpful.